All right, today we're gonna to try and make an art easel for painting and drawing and that kind of stuff for the kids. So it's gonna be a basic A-frame, about five feet tall and around about uh, 24 inches wide with a couple of trays, one on each side, so you can put your pencils and pens and all that kind of stuff in at around about 24 inches. So to get going, what you're gonna need is some two by twos and some one by fours and some one by twos and this right here you can use plywood if you want but this is called marker board and it's already kind of like whiteboard um, that you can dry erase on uh, and this side is already white and this side is unfinished so i guess you could use either side maybe one each side and once we're done building it we're going to paint it some fun colors we've got bright red bright yellow and bright blue so we're going to make the trim and everything all different colors and make it all stand out so the first thing to do is to cut uh, the frame which we're going to use two by twos for uh, and we're going to make sure that it can uh, be on like a a frame angle so we're going to use 22.5 degrees for the frame that's always set at 22.5 degrees and we have two legs on there ready to cut at five feet <laughs> cut with the 22 and a half uh, degree angle at the bottom and then two of them at this end have got a 30 degree angle so when you lean the two opposites together they make the perfect 60 degree angle on the top to create the a-frame. I'm going to measure the space between the two legs that the board will sit on to make the cross pieces then we'll cut some pieces and put them together to make the one side and the other side for the A-frame. I'm going to measure the space between the two legs that the board will sit on to make the cross pieces. Then we'll cut some pieces and put them together to make the one side and the other side for the A-frame. Works out at 21 inches exactly. So we're going to cut three of these out of the two by twos and uh, they're going to be used three each side for the supports. Now we've got all six of the cross pieces cut we can go ahead and take three for one side and three for the other and connect them to the side posts. We're going to have to make one at the top, one in the middle and one at around about two feet from the ground. It means we're going to have to cut this marker board. As you can see, it overhangs a little bit, uh, but that's no problem. We'll get to that at a later stage. I'm going to use these star drive two and a half inch screws to get going with this. Now that we have the two pieces of the A-frame cut, it's time to measure out the white board and tack it down. So I've laid the white board across and as you can see it hangs over this third beam right here. So what we're going to do is just cut this whole overhanging piece off. That will give around about 36 inches of uh, drawing surface on each side. So first we'll do this one and then we'll do the other side. The white board pieces are cut as you can see they now fit to the frame properly. So what we're going to do is glue it down with some type bond free glue this is great wood glue it's all purpose and it's really really strong it takes about an hour to dry then what we'll have is we'll put the um, trim using um, one by twos around the outside and screw that over the borders and what that will do is create a nice tight seal and sandwich it in they're glued down in the correct position and i've actually just put some rocks on the top here just to add some weight to keep them in place while the glue dries i don't actually have any clamps at this time um, so next best thing but if you have any clamps you could just use those while the glue dries so we'll check back in around about an hour and continue the build the two sides are now stood together and screwed at the top into an a shape so now what we need to do is make braces to go um, from like over here to over here to just make it a little bit stronger um, so that for when the kiddos are leaning on it drawing it doesn't you know fold into itself or something um, so maybe two possibly three braces one across the center or something and then it would actually even be possible to create a shelf along the middle under here because you see how much room there is right here and so it's the possibility of creating some sort of storage unit under there in the future as well it's now taking shape as you can see the braces are now in place giving it the classic a-frame style look and now what we need to do is cut the trim which will go all around the outside here all over and the same on this side and that will help 
to cover up these uh, holes here that um, are at the top and where the braces are um, so it'll be a nice white surface after that we're going to sand them and then paint them and then put them on we'll also have to sand down this whole um, frame and get it painted then we'll have to create the trays and they're going to go under here right there and under here on this side as well this is the red side of the board which has been completed so as you can see we have red trim that goes all the way around the outside of the whiteboard and then we ended up with a red shelf at the bottom here where pencils paints erasers that kind of thing can be stored right there so the next thing to do will be to put on the blue side and then sand up um, the frame and paint it yellow these are what the trim pieces look like when they're cut and sanded and painted before they get put onto the whiteboard i've got one for the bottom one for the top and one for the left and one for the right and the tray is made from a one by four and one by twos and as you can see i put the one by four on the bottom and then just made a frame around it with the one by twos and left one side open which faces into the easel it then sits on these blocks which are angled and if you see over here underneath as I put this underneath right here and attach it to this side and to this side then the little shelf can sit on top and this is the completed blue side I hope this video has inspired you to go out and create something cool with your kids and please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. Till the next one.